Here on Mount Sinai, Moses received the Ten Commandments. On this sacred site lies St. Catherine's, a Greek Orthodox monastery. It is a village and a fortress, and for centuries has been the target of marauders and art thieves. The monastery is filled with priceless treasures. Behind these locked gates, the heavily guarded library contains 8,000 ancient books and manuscripts dating back 1,500 years. This collection is second only to that of the Vatican. But the library houses more than ancient Bibles for the study of religious scholars. It contains over 2,000 sacred icons, some dating back to the 6th century AD. These fragile paintings were created by applying hot colored wax onto a wooden surface. These rare and beautiful masterpieces have never been viewed on television until this moment. When the Byzantine Roman Emperor Justinian ordered St. Catherine's Monastery built in 530 AD, he apparently failed to consult his generals. They would have told him not to build it at the foot of Mount Sinai. For several hundred years, enemies used the rocks above as weapons. They dislodged them and rolled them against the monastery like cannonballs. That is ancient history. For the last 1,000 years, the priests of the monastery and the local Bedouin tribesmen have lived in peaceful accord, and the Bedouins have become protectors of the monastery. Stones from Mount Sinai are now being used to rebuild the monastery walls, and Father Sophronius carries out his caretaking duties with religious fervor. <laughs> He is also the standard bearer of a thousand year tradition. Once a week, Father Sophronius supervises the baking of holy bread, which is handed out to the head of each local Bedouin household. With the bread go blessings of gratitude for the protection given the Christians by their Muslim neighbors. Beyond the monastery walls, there is a plain white building. Here lie the skulls of all the monks who have served their god in this desert for the past 1400 years. This ancient revered monk, Stephanos, who died in 580 AD, watches over them. Their remains were placed here so that they may be closer to God on Judgment Day. For the dead, as well as the living, St. Catherine's is a place of peace a peace sustained over 1,000 years by the sharing of holy bread. <laughs> 